Okay, and so for option three, what you're going to do is you're going to take these um, plastic, just basic, um, maybe dollar store or Walmart plastic hangers. You're going to need four of those. You're going to use large snips. I don't, you're going to have to have your parents help you with this. And you're just going to snip here, and you're going to snip here so that you get the poles for the basket and the balloon to attach. So when you're done cutting them, you'll just have cut the, the bottom part of the hanger out. And these will work fine. They'll hot glue to the basket, and then we'll reinforce with a piece of uh, cardboard, a band to go around so that they will stay secure inside the basket. If you find that these are not going to be long enough, um, for some reason, you could always cut two more and then cut, cut them in half and attach some more um, length with duct tape. And I would just um, do it like this. Let's say um, you're adding another half of a piece here. Just go ahead and duct tape, um, you know, two or three times around and then just uh, cover the entire thing in duct tape to give it a silver look because I believe Sage's um, the poles that attach are silver and these are white of course these come in different colors I've seen them in blue red gray so if you can find gray ones that will be great if not go ahead and cover them in duct tape so that's what I'm going to do next alright guys when you're putting duct tape over your posts See, I just attach the two here. Um, it's best to lay out a strip and then just set this on and then roll it because if you go down and roll like it, you're going to use like an entire roll of duct tape and your parents are going to be upset. So I've got paint on the table. Anyway, so just go ahead and lay it, you know, roll out um, a length that is perfect for the post and then just set it on there and then roll it around vertically instead of wrapping. That's what I'm going to do next. Now that you have your post covered in duct tape, don't worry about it not looking pretty. That's not going to be the focal point of this project. So um, what I have is um, just leftover cardboard strips that I cut about an inch maybe a little bit more than an inch, but an inch is sufficient um, to act as supports for the posts. Once they're inside, um, we're going to put the post like so, and then we're going to reinforce hot gluing the strip of cardboard like that, just to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't um, lean in. Okay, that's what I'm going to do next. All right, so I used six hangers total, and I've covered in um, the duct tape. And so here we go. She's in the, the basket box, and the posts are inside. So I just want to show, if I can, um, if you look back here behind her, see the reinforcement? I just hot glued and then put the little band to reinforce, um, there you go, to reinforce so that it doesn't fall out. Okay, next, to attach the balloon. Alright everyone, so what I have here is just a uh, four different color poster board. I've cut them in half vertically, and I've just met them up evenly with each other. So these red and blue are together, yellow and green going to hot glue them all together and then I'm going to fold them into a bulbous shape and I've already um, cut out a cardboard topper I guess you would say for sage, oops, for sage. Um, it's just left over of the box and so uh, <coughs> excuse me I'm I think I'm coming down with the flu. So um, what I did is I just hot glued the posts to the four corners and that is going to act as a base just so that um, these stay level 
and um, we have a canopy overhead and then I can make sure to put the um, different colors in down at the bottom so that they hold the balloon. Okay, here goes. Alright, so now that I have them all connected at the top, I just made a circular cardboard support for the for the top of the balloon. And then I've stacked a series of styrofoam cups to act as a center support. And so I'm just going to go ahead and once this is pulled up, it will actually become the um, the hot air balloon. But I've bent back, you can see on all the sides here, bent back just a little bit so that I can um, hot glue that once the support is glued to the top base of the balloon. All right, everybody, I'm done. Um, just a quick side note before I show you the finished product. I ended up taking the posts at the top and ungluing them and putting them in about an inch because they were too squared on top and I wanted I wanted it to be a little uh, more arched so that they were smaller at the top where they looked like they were at the base of the balloon. <coughs> so what I did is after I took the, the four strips of poster board and uh, hot glued them together, I um, drew them up to touch each side to, e to itself and stapled it and then I just cut what was left over of the poster board and made long strips and then glued those to the completed balloon to give it some more color. And so anyway, I'm sorry, I, I definitely have the flu. Um, I'm really glad that this project is over because I just don't I don't think I have any more strength. So here's the completed project. And as you can see, it um, we have a pucker there that I have to fix. But you can see it mimics the shape of a balloon. And it certainly is tall enough. And if you look in the mirror there to the right, you can see the, uh, the back side, which has all the different colors. And so um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, turn it around so you can see the other side with those colors. Alright, well quickly, here's what it looks like from the side. From one side. Okay. What's great about this is for pictures, you can change it, the different colors. And again, you can see in the mirror, um, that was the, the other side that I had originally. So you've got, you know, two front options and two side options for photos. So anyway, that is the completed balloon. I'll be back with um, a full shot with everybody else. Okay, guys, so here is what I've done with the side of the balloon um, to close up the gap because you're not going to be able to do that once you can't put something inside to disguise the hole because um, it would it would tear because you have to form the balloon in order to um, know where to cut the size of the hole. So what I've done is I have just um, taken regular good old fashioned Elmer's glue and just put it a bead all the way from the top down all the way the side like so on both sides and then just put a strip of colored tissue paper and I have two pink, one lime green, and one blue. You're going to let this dry, and then when it's dry, you're going to just trim the excess off. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, guys, so the project is done. And with the sides filled in, you'll see that the sides are all completely closed up. And I don't know if you, you can see there in the mirror as well, the green has covered on the other side. So this is the finished product, and everybody's ready to take a hot air balloon ride, as you can see. Um, I hope you try one or maybe all of these projects. Um, it was challenging, to say the least, and now that I'm sick, I'm glad it's over with. 
Um, I'm having the the other mini AG size paper lanterns. I have two that I'm going to give away. So if any of you are interested in making um, a little hot air balloon for your Barbies, your Monster High, your mini AGs or stuffed animals, go ahead and comment below that you want to enter to win. And I have two that I'm going to give away, so that's two winners. And um, the drawing will be next Saturday. So I'll go ahead in the comments, uh, in the description, I will write the date when the drawing will take place. Okay? So thanks for watching, guys, and sitting through a very long tutorial. And I hope you make your own hot air balloon. And everybody's ready to go. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.